Well, football is back in the coastal bend and it got started right as the clock struck midnight. That's right. The Miller Bucks were one of several area teams out on the practice field overnight and three sports. Chris Thomason was out there with them. Here is his season preview. Hey there, Coastal Bend. Chris Thomason out at Buck Stadium burning the midnight oil. Texas high school football is back, and it was back precisely at 12 a.m. The Miller Bucks not wasting a single minute for the season. They were out for their first ever midnight practice, or at least first in modern history. We decided this year we wanted to do a little something different. You know, that's been the focus over off season is just kind of doing little things different uh, to, to achieve a different result. So we thought, hey, it'd be fun to turn on the lights at 12.01, come out here and get after it. The Bucks season had a disappointing finish first with losing a double digit lead late against Veterans Memorial in the district championship game and then getting physically beat up in an area round loss to PSJA North. Miller also never decided on a number one quarterback last year with senior Jaden Brown and junior Trevor Long splitting reps and drives. Coach Evans says it wasn't an ideal situation and he's expecting the two to compete to win the job outright over the next few weeks. You know, we just want to compete against each other, you know, when you have a good time and whoever's best wins and whatever's best for the team works. Really just like competing with each other, making each other better. So whoever does win that spot is at the best they can be. In the offseason, we're going to pick one guy. Uh, we, we felt like that going into this year, we need to give that one guy an opportunity to kind of go through the maturation process or what have you. And so uh, both guys are going to compete and, um, you know, we'll find out who, who's the guy at, uh, once week one comes. Miller opens the season with a Thursday home game, August 24th against Rockport Fulton. 